Today I'm going to introduce you to a very useful TMON function for Excel users. I'm currently using um, TMON Cognos 10.2.2, uh, but this, uh, this demo is applicable for all the TMON users, so you can please follow along. Um, so basically what we're trying to achieve is uh, uh, to get a roll up, or basically to create a hierarchy mapping for some of the dimensions that you uh, might need uh, in your day-to-day um, -day business workings. So basically, um, uh, if you look at this uh, column A here, uh, I have uh, GB rolling up to UK region and then uh, um, the UK region rolling up to UK and then to EMEA rolling up to the total region, for instance. So the name of the function I'm introducing you today is called LPAR. Basically, this is element parent. Uh, this will return me the element parent. So basically, if you have um, uh, the basic function, basic uh, um, syntax is LPAR, and then um, you have uh, the name of the dimension, right, which includes the cube. So if you click on B1 here, you can see that this is the name of my... Um, uh, cube tm on hacks cube and then the dimension is market region okay so if you go here and click anywhere here for instance you'll see that it's the name of the function with the name of the dimension the name of the element for which uh, which is uh, here a8 and then uh, you know the roll up uh, the instance basically like uh, this particular for instance great britain right gb could uh, have um, more than one rollup. So basically this is to say like, uh, if there are multiple rollups, just give me the one which is the first one. So uh, GB roll up, rolls up to UK. So in this instance, this is the immediate one. You can see there will be more parent. This particular element could have more than one parent. So uh, sometimes system uses uh, multiple rollups to do multiple calculations and analysis. Uh, in runtime, but then this is the one you can see and I'll suggest you to use one here So the syntax for this is L par and then you have the dimension This is the one the dimension the name of the element and the, the um, If you uh, look at this this will be basically the uh, What do you want to return if there are multiple of parents which one you want to return? Okay? So I'm just uh, going to show you this in uh, Excel version and um, in my other video, in my next video, I'll show you how to use uh, the VBA way of it. So basically what you need to do here is to, so I'm just going to scrap this off and then for instance, let's say that I want to use um, LPAR or um, yeah. And then I'll say that uh, this is my element. I'll just log them so that uh, you can copy them across. And then I want to get the rollup of this. And then I'll just place one. All right. So what if you want, uh, instead of UK region, uh, you want to get uh, UK instead, right? So for that, you'll have to use um, uh, LPAR again right and then this just the whole thing basically you just need to um, use the use the you know the result from the prior you know function and then uh, put it here so this way you can get UK so it's very simple uh, if you have TM1 and you you don't even need this in active form or anything you just need to ensure that you're connected to the cube and then uh, uh, if it doesn't recalculate automatically you hit the rebuild button or recalculate and then it should give you uh, the hierarchy of it so for example um, I'm just going back to the prior one um, if you just copy this across like this right it will give you um, like this if you just copy this across it will keep on giving you the next uh, um, the region right so this is uh, 
you know, this is what I use, and I find this is very useful and very quick in calculation. So I uh, welcome you to give your feedback and suggestions what you use for your, you know, to get a roll up or the parent of an element. So I hope you found this very useful. Please subscribe to my channel and do have a good day. Bye bye.